Here we go. Normandy, D-Day time. Operation Tonga. There's Juno. That's where the Canadians went in. Tonga, I don't know who went in on Tonga, but Juno Beach is definitely the Canadian beach. Okay, here we go. This is the big one. Welcome to Varaville, location Normandy, France. Land between the Orne and Dives, or Dives River. Heavily irrigated agricultural. A farming land fertile through its many estuaries and irrigation earthworks. In 1057, during the Battle of Varaville, King Henry I's army was split into two by the incoming tide. Interesting. And then smashed by William of Normandy in a decisive Norman victory. Much like the past, the Allies were planning to use the water and terrain against the Germans, deploying paratroopers to key locations in order to disrupt German defence, in order to give the Allies an advantage. Landing Russian air infantry as part of the Gum Card series. Paratroopers of the 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion in a transit camp staging area prior to D-Day, England, CA or Circa, 1st to 5th of June, 1944. That's history right there. An unidentified paratrooper of the 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion at a transit camp near Down Ampney in England, June 1944. It'd be so interesting to find out who that was. Paratroopers of the 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion who shaved the letters VICTORY. You can't really see it in the picture, unfortunately but they've shaved the letters victory on their heads during their stay at the transit camp in England before parachuting into France, England, circa 1st to 5th of June 1944. Comradery. Paratroopers pledge victory first. Troop exercises in England. A paratrooper leader gives a speech encouraging people to buy bonds while his men announce the amounts they will be investing. Canadian Army Newsreel number 28. Somewhere in England, Canada's paratroops demonstrate how well they've mastered their difficult job and express their determination to put victory first. Well, boys, the company commander just came in this morning was telling me there's another victory room back home. This time we got it back at 100%. You know the one we had back in Shallow? Well, that really went over the top. This time, this one's really going to be better. What did you do last time, Bish? What did you buy in bonds? 150. What are you going to get this time? The same, if not more. That's the old fight. How about you, Dakin? What did you buy last time? I bought $50 last time. We're going to double it this time. Now don't forget, fellas, we got to buy all the bonds we can. Save all your shillings and two shilling pieces. And you can always wire home and get the money back some other time. You know, all these chutes, planes, and everything that we're using every day? Well, that takes a lot of money. And the people back home are behind us, and we got to show them here how we're behind them. We need all the money we can. We've got to do the job two ways. Drop them from the air and back it up 100%. Don't forget, this time it's a case of put victory first. Wow. Put your money where your mouth is. Power drop units often become lost or lose communication upon landing. Do your best to locate your paratroopers. I certainly will. Look at this. This is a big map now. Whoa, okay, I haven't read any of this. I really should. Right, let's go with the overview. Several paratrooper battalions were dropped behind enemy lines in Normandy on the night before the invasion of mainland France. The enemy has flooded several areas, restricting the availability of drop zones. The 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion has many objectives and little time. Enemy artillery must be silenced and several towns taken. Due to the bad weather and flak, We've been scattered and have lost contact with initial units. You must find and rally your paratroopers. Additional reinforcements will be dropped if drop zones are secured. Wow, a lot of objectives there. Initially low, expect panzers as reinforcements. La Messonil will be garrisoned. Enemy artillery has been spotted near Merville. That's this here then. 
Paratroopers will be under strength. Find your initial units. Don't engage the enemy until you have at least several units. Secure marked drop zones for specialist reinforcements. Okay. So hold Le Messe Nil. That's the that's the most important thing. That should be location one in my head because it's the first objective. But whatever. Hold Laraville. Hold Robinholm. Hold Burez. Every 30 enemy artillery casualties. Um, so, yeah, for every artillery casualty that we inflict, we'll get an extra point. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not picking the units this time. They're just coming as is. All right. Okay. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Let's have... Uh, have our pencils set up the way we want them. Incidentally, I discovered today that this sort of fake pencil thing allows you... So if you click on uh, on this, we get the green pencil. And if you click on that, that's what gets rid of the pencil. Alternatively, you can just press the left alt button and that works as well. But it was a bit... But hit and miss, the bloodest. It wasn't very well explained. There's also uh, some brandy. Shitting. Makes us a bit blurry. Steadies the nerves. There used to be a pipe, but I guess the map is so big that we can't fit the pipe. But you can smoke the pipe as well. Oh, there's the pipe. There we go. I am 100% ready for this. Okay. 18 minutes. That's all we've got for this mission. I'm not feeling 100%. Uh, deploy command post. I'm not feeling 100% settled. Tanks are definitely coming from here and here, so if we secure, secure these locations, it'll be good. Right, let me... I wish these pencils were thicker. I wish you could make them thicker. So that they're easier to see. But... So that's a drop zone. That's a drop zone. That's artillery. That's artillery. That's artillery. So this artillery is going to be able to reach here and maybe here. Not entirely sure. We're not going to deploy this until we know where our men are. But I think whatever happens, this needs to be our priority. Let's rub that out a second. This one. And this one. And obviously I've got no idea what's on the ground. I've not played this mission before. It's always first time playing it and I think when you're reviewing a game like this that's how it should be done you can't play the mission know where everything is and then go oh look how good I am no the way it should be played is I have no idea what's going on I'm going to do my best that's the only honest way I think ah, I'm just delaying the inevitable I'm a bit nervous <clears throat> okay come on boys we can do this I do hate how it resets the camera as soon as the mission starts. Abel, report status. Abel, head south. Baker, report status. Charlie, report status. Dog, report status. Dog, head north. I think they're over here somewhere. Here. Oh, they're over here. Dog, head to location four. Abel, status. But now he's in a forest, so he's definitely not up there. Uh, so he must be down here somewhere. Abel, head southeast, southwest. Abel here, southwest. It's 
It's good that you can override your commands with other commands. So they were in a swamp, which I assume is here. There we go. Able, move to Foxtrot 14. Able, move to Foxtrot 14. Able, report status. Able here. We're engaged at Foxtrot 12. We're fighting alligator at Foxtrot 14. Uh, I don't know about this. Shortly here. We have reestablished contact with all here. Dog, report status. Should be able to deal with them. We still don't know where Baker are. Nice, well done guys. That's them done. Able, move to location five. Able here, stay frosty everyone. Dog here, frosty, I'm down quickly here. Certainly here. There's more where that came from. Dog, status. Charlie, status. Damn, they've all taken an absolute pounding then. Dog, go to location four. Move to location four. Dog here. We're already at that location. Charlie, move to Juliet eight, location three. Dog, dig in. Charlie, report status. Charlie, retreat. Able report status. Able here, you're at Echo. Eleven. We've got a few wounded, but nothing serious. We can see infantry at Echo. Eight. Able, move to Hotel Nine. Able here, Hotel Nine. Get in. Kilo. Eleven. Charlie, report status. Charlie here. We're at Kilo. Eleven. We're running close to half strength. Charlie, move to Hotel Twelve. Dog report status. Roger that. Able report status. Able, here. At hotel. Got a few Able. move to location three. Able here. To Charlie, here. We've at hotel. Charlie, move to India nine. really nice if I could find Baker somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Oh, Baker are over here somewhere apparently. Okay. All right, then we'll uh, we'll send Abel up there around the swamp to see if we can't find them. Abel, report status. Abel here. You're at India. Hey, we're on route to Control 
Charlie, report status. Understood. Charlie, move to location three. I'm going to move Abel up, see if I can't find Baker. Uh, we'll try and take out the artillery, and then we'll come back and take Drawville. And then uh, whoever's left is going to have to take uh, Mosnil, I guess. It's the best we can do. Charlie's going to have to hold location three, even though they're at half strength. Ten minutes to go. Two minutes till the tanks arrive. Charlie, report status. Abel, move to location two. All units. They can't do all units. Abel, report status. Baker. Charlie, report status. Charlie, dig in. Dog, report status. Dog, dig in. Could have sworn I already asked him to do that, but whatever. Okay. So we're going to try and dig in there. We're going to try and dig in there. Let's hope we take out these guys, and then we're going to go sort out the artillery. This artillery is going to be a problem. This artillery is going to be a big problem. Abel, report status. Baker, report status. Baker, retreat. Abel, move to Foxtrot 5. Baker, move to Charlie 2. Abel, move to Charlie 2. Abel, report status. Gotta hold him, Charlie. Baker, report status. Baker, move to Bravo 3. Abel, report status. Baker, report status. Why are you there? Baker, move to Charlie 3. Abel, move to Charlie 4. Baker, retreat. Abel, report status.
Baker report status. Oh, that's not good. Abel, report status. Charlie, report status. Oh, gosh. Abel, report status. Delta 2. Baker, move to location 1. Fox, fire barrage at Charlie 2. Abel, report status. Able, move to Charlie 2. Fox, fire barrage at location 1. Baker, report status. Fox, fire barrage at location 1. Fox. Uh, it's in the right place. Baker, report status. Fox, fire barrage at location one. Fox, fire barrage at location one. Able, move to location one. Baker, report status. Baker, report status. Able, move to Foxtrot 3. Fox, fire barrage at Dingo 4. Hotel 4. Fox, fire barrage at Hotel 4. Great. Able report status. Baker report status. Baker, dig in. Charlie, report status. Able, move to. Able, move to location two. I think Le Mezzanil was the. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the key one. Able, 
Table. Move to location five. to get down here somehow. Charlie, move to location five. Abel, move to location five. Charlie, report status. Able report status. Come on, guys. You have to take this. Nice. We're out of time, though. I don't think we got there in time. Bugger. Infantry. One, two, three, four, five. Three artillery, one lot of tanks. Did we get it or not? No. Oh, we were so close to taking that as well. So close to taking the main objective. That's really quite disappointing. Wiped out bear. I'm not going to do the replay on that because it was pretty obvious what happened. I didn't lose track of anybody. I just didn't do very well. All right, let's check this out. Planes evacuate wounded. Dakota planes move the wounded from France. Nursing sister Ogilvy at work. The plane takes off. Canadian Army Newsreel number 34. planes provide the last word in casualty evacuation from Normandy. Nursing sister Ogilvy was one of the first two women to fly with them to France on her vital mission of mercy. Serious cases requiring treatment from specialists are given quick diagnosis. They are tagged and loaded into the flying ambulances for speedy evacuation. Careful attention is paid to their comfort. Living under battle conditions, sleeping in slit trenches close to the roar of enemy guns, the staff of medical officers and nurses does a magnificent job. In an amazing short time after taking off, our airborne wounded are back at a base hospital. The Air Medical Service, commencing operations seven days after D-Day, continues. It makes sure that wounded Canadians receive the best treatment that science and skill can provide. Mm, there you go. Injured paratroopers for the 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion are recuperating at number 11 Canadian General Hospital, Royal Canadian Army Medical Corps, RCAMC, the Taplow, England, 1944. Taplow's nice, isn't it? I like Taplow. Nursing Sisters of Princess Mary's Royal Air Force Nursing Service talking with wounded soldiers, Benny Saint France, 16th June, 1944. In fact, I think that was the video we just watched, wasn't it? She's lighting this chap's cigarette. Wow, well, that ties the two up rather nicely. Le GN Ral Sir Bernard Montgomery. Lieutenant General something. Sir Bernard Montgomery. De Barsa un vehicule amphibie de soldats. Canadien. Uh, so that's in French. Not sure why. Everything else has been in English. But you get the general gist of it. That's Sir Bernard Montgomery addressing the troops uh, uh, um, on top of a vehicle, amphibious vehicle, uh, and talking to the Canadian troops, basically. Right. Let's go. Look out below. 
Working in conjunction with the British 3rd Parachute Brigade, the 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion landed behind enemy lines on D-Day with the objective to destroy major bridges and batteries ahead of the amphibious army assault. Due to weather and planes avoiding being shot down, the landings were rough and chaotic. It was difficult to make out landmarks due to the wet weather and drop zones were missed and sometimes mislabeled. Nevertheless, the paratroopers made do due with whatever forces they could rally and managed to seize their objectives. The, the Merville Battery was taken by the 9th Parachute Brigade with the faction of, the, of their soldiers. The 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion's C Company had overwhelmed a strong point east of Varaville and the B Company destroyed a bridge at Robholm Rob Rob without their engineers present. Operation Tonga was a massive success and continued to put pressure on German defences and mobilisation while the Allies secured a beachhead. Here we go then. Again, we're not picking our troops. So that Tonga free-to-play has now been unlocked. We're on to Juno Beach. Here we go. We didn't do so well in the last one. It's my fault. I should have secured that objective. Welcome to Juno Beach, Normandy, France. English Channel Beach, fortified concrete bunkers, low tide obstacles, anti-tank mines, stakes, tank obstacles, a mass, a mess of heavy guns or a mass of heavy guns, one anti-tank, four tank guns, six mobile tank guns, five infantry mortars with mortars being the deadliest. Holy cow! One anti-tank, four tank guns six mobile anti-tank guns and five infantry mortars how am i going to get through this good lord a movable steel obstacle three meters wide and two meters high originally deployed to defend belgium relocated to juno beach to impede the progress of tanks Sherman DD duplex drive amphibious tank with waterproof float screens. When in the water, the float screen was raised and the rear propellers came into operation. I don't know if you've ever seen any footage of this, but there are so many of those tanks at the bottom of the ocean. Sadly, with the men still in it. Really frightening. I mean, the idea of bringing tanks, amphibious tanks is, well, the whole thing just shocks me. Troops of the 9th Canadian Infantry Brigade, Stormont, Dundas and Glengarry Highlanders going ashore from LCI L299 Landing Craft Infantry, Bernier Sumer, Normandy, France, 6th of June 1944, apologies for my enunciations, unidentified Canadian soldiers are landing on Juno Beach, Corsair Sumer, France, 6th of June 1944, I really struggle to say that, I really do. Personnel of Royal Canadian Navy Beach Commando W landing on Mike Beach, Juno sector of the Normandy Beachhead, France, 8th July 1944. It looks like the fighting is finished in, in that particular video. Crusade for Liberation, Crusade for Liberation, D-Day preparations in England, story of the Normandy invasion, ships are loaded with men and equipment, Tuesday June 6th, move to the target. The invasion begins at sea. Landing craft move to the beaches of Bernier-sur-Mer. Bernier-sur-Mer. Landing by Canadians and the consolidation of their positions. Equipment is unloaded. German prisoners start to come in. Buildings damaged by German artillery troops moving up. Dinner around a fire. Socialising, fraternising with French women. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Say no more. The medical corps at work. Prisoners are sent to England. Casualties being loaded on ships for the trip back to England. General Bernard Montgomery with the troops and giving a news conference. Canadian Army News Rule number 33. Let's have a look. <clears throat> By week until the fateful D-Day, Allied invasion preparations shaped up on a staggering scale. The million and one details took on a pattern against the backdrop of suspense and anticipation on the part of forces and civilians in Britain and jittery Germans across the channel. <coughs> Never before in the world's history has a military operation been so heralded by both sides as was the Second Front. 
They were tough looking, weren't they? Look at these guys. They put to sea to await the crucial moment. Guarding them are the guns of two mighty task forces of the combined navy. Overhead, the air forces provide an invulnerable protective ceiling. Before dawn, Tuesday, June 6th, the word is given, advance. The forces of liberation move to their rendezvous with destiny. The invasion is on. The invasion is on. Naval bombardment has done well its job of paralyzing enemy batteries. Wow, look at that house. Achieve tactical surprise. Strong north winds make the business of landing equipment extremely hazardous. The much vaunted west wall crumples before our whirlwind advance. As the bridge heads are established, supplies, armor, and reinforcements pour from the landing craft. The Canadians meet considerable fire on the beaches as they work their way into the defenses. There is stiff hand-to-hand -hand fighting in the little coast towns, but the citizen soldiers of yesterday oh, are now a hardened mass of professional killers. They have learned and improved upon the lessons of Dieppe. Headway is made against 10 Nazi divisions. One of the enemy units, surprised on maneuvers, was composed of lads from the Hitler Youth Movement. Like their older comrades, they are glad to be out of the war. They begin to doubt the invincibility of their Führer. It's a far cry from those far off days when British troops were leaving these shores under pressure from the Nazi invaders. Then it was our burned out tanks which littered the road. Our troops were fighting a last gallant stand for life and home. Years of grueling toil have built up a storehouse of materials which make it possible for us to force the enemy from his strong fortifications. Thanks to blood, sweat and tears, we may now master the roads which lead to Berlin. countryside to draw from. The liberated people take kindly to our Canadians. Despite the necessary damage inflicted on the countryside through warfare, there are a hundred smiles for every frown. Head deepens on to Paris. In an operation of this magnitude, heavy casualties are to be expected. It is good to know that during the initial stages of the invasion, casualties were extremely low. The great organization of the Army Medical Corps is ready to take care of many more wounded than claim their attention. The only complaint from the wounded lads is that they're sorry to be out of the fight. They want to be back with their comrades who are fighting forever forward, deeper into France.
prisoners too land on the English coast in ever-growing streams. Ours the cream of fighting power, led by the craftiest of generals. We look with sober confidence to the future. In the words of General Montgomery, we have a great and righteous cause. Let us pray that the Lord, mighty in battle, will go forward with our armies and that his special providence will aid us in the struggle. With stout hearts and enthusiasm for the contest, let us go forward to victory. Wow. That was amazing. All right. Oh, looks like we get to pick some stuff here. Operation Overlord, or D-Day, has six American, British, and Canadian divisions ready to land in northern France. The Canadians are tasked with taking Juneau Beach. First, you'll be bombard the enemy with naval artillery. Then your infantry battalions will splash ashore. You must decide what type of reinforcements to land after your infantry. Tanks will land later in the day. Be careful of minefields on the beach between the towns further inland. After taking the seaside, establish a beachhead by pushing out. The more ground we take now, the harder it will be to dislodge us later. So we're expecting three infantry companies, anti-tank guns, several artillery batteries further back, possible panzers later. Each seaside town and fortification will be garrisoned. Each one seaside town may be less defended. Enemy artillery and anti-tank guns are marked. Bombard marked artillery and anti-tank guns approach seaside towns head-on to avoid minefields. Hmm. Bring engineers to clear minefields for alternative, alternate approaches. Okay. So, wow, look at this. Look at this. There's a lot of marshland there. Don't really want to have to go through the marshland, but if we have to, I'm guessing down here is the quickest route. Straight to the artillery. No doubt this will be uh, heavily protected. What are my objectives? What are my primary objectives is what I've got to focus on. Puron, Puton en Besson, Capique Airfield. So the airfield, Puton and Buron. Puton, Airfield and Buron. So these are the main objectives is to get this far. So basically we've got to take everything. There is no primary. We've just got to take the lot. Okay, so... So three non-tank, and the rest have to be tank and infantry. Three non-tank. Hmm, hang on. Let me think about this a little bit before I jump in and just randomly grab people. Looks like they fixed that bug. whole bunch of patches coming in and updating it and uh, lots of good stuff coming. So, all of our bold and... Okay, wily and defensive. Third infantry slot. Cautious, but all double high-ranked. Artillery. They're exhausted and under strength, so they're no good. Anti-tank. We, we've not used anti-tank. Let's get one anti-tank lot in there. The scouts. Oh, look, they've got an upgrade. What can they do? Okay, so we've given them a double upgrade. They're going to be very helpful. And then we need some tanks at the end there. These guys again with a couple of upgrades. Never used tanks in this game yet. Hasn't happened. But they're exhausted. We're going to go with these guys because they're the only guys that aren't 
under strength or uh, exhausted. So that's it. That's what we're going with. Okay, and this map is bigger than the last map. Get me pencils off the map. Quick swig of this. Shitting. Quick puff of the old smoky pokes. Get ahead in the game. Let's do this. Ah, so we're not going to deploy this just yet. Um, what have we got here? Anti-tank guns. Two lots of anti-tank guns. So we've got Abel and Baker. And we're just going to try and take out as much as we can. I wonder how far they can fire. Let's... 20 minutes. <sighs> Shall I think about a plan? Okay, so... 1 minute 55... So these are the first guys that are going to land. So I want to clear this. So one. Two. Three. Who's coming in after that? These guys. So these guys I want to move here. And I want them... to pound here and here. Scouts are coming in quite late. I don't have any engineers. Oh, bugger, I didn't pick any engineers. That was really stupid. Really needed the engineers, damn it. Okay, so they're going to come in. Oh, there's a mistake made already. These guys are going to pound this artillery here and this town here all right that's what that's what we're rolling with and then we'll, I, I guess we'll try and get the tanks come up the middle and once they're there we can use them as as we see fit we scouts whoa Scouts. Basically, we're gonna have to get some some visual on that. So maybe maybe come onto this hill. Some visuals on the town, something like that. Okay. All right, let's do this. Start mission. Able. Fire barrage at location six. Baker, fire barrage at location six. Able, fire barrage at location five. Baker, fire barrage at location five. Able fire barrage at location three. Baker fire barrage at location three. Able fire barrage at location six. Able fire barrage at location six. Delta 
Baker, fire barrage at location 5. Able, fire barrage at location 6. Able fire barrage at location six. Last chance, we've got six seconds. Charlie, move to location six. Where's that artillery fire coming from here, I guess? Able, fire barrage at Bravo 9. Dog, move to location 5. Able, fire barrage at Bravo 9. Easy, move to location three. Able fire barrage at Bravo 9. Able fire barrage at November 9. Charlie, report status. Dog, report status. Able, fire barrage at November 9. Fox, move to Lima 5. Able, fire barrage at November 9. Charlie, report status. Able, fire barrage at Delta 4. Able, fire barrage at location 3. Fox report status. Able, fire barrage at Bravo 9. George, move to Bravo 5. Charlie, report status. Dog, report status. Able, fire barrage at November 9. Easy, report status. Fox, report status. Fox, fire barrage at location 3. Able, fire barrage at Bravo 9. Charlie, report status. How move to location 2. Now move to location 3. Easy report status. How move to November 5. How move to move to move move to November 5.
George, report status. George, report status. Dog, move to location five. Dog here. All right, heading to the trenches at India four. Charlie, report status. Charlie here. Here at Delta four. We're running close to half strength. Charlie, move to Bravo five. Charlie here. All right, heading through to Bravo five. Easy here. Woo! George, report status. Here, Charlie here. We walk into a damn minefield. Nobody move. Charlie, move to location. Five. Charlie, move to location five. Charlie, move to location six. George, report status. Box, report status. How? Dog report status. Charlie, move to location five. Fox report status. Fox move to Lima five. Damn it. Fox move to location three. How report status. Easy report status. Easy move to location five. How move to location five. This has not gone very well. Easy, move to location three. Easy, here. All right, heading to the trenches at Oscar five. Now, here. All right, heading to the trenches at Oscar. Fox, report status. Fox, report status. Great. Dog, report status. Charlie, report status. Charlie, move to Hotel 4. Dog, move to Hotel 4. Item, move to Location 5. Easy, report status. How, report status. How, move to location two. How, preparing to assault. Got it. Easy, move to location two. Why aren't they taking the road? Crikey Moses. George, report status. They are still there. George. Fire barrage at Hotel 4. George, that location is out of range. We'll need to reposition. George, move to location 6. George, here. All right, head to the trenches at Hotel 4. Thank you. Yes, 
That'll have to do for now. Standing forward, command post. Charlie, here we can see Jingo, half India, four. Really should have got some engineers. Charlie, report status. Dog, report status. Bloody hell, dog. Dog, move to location five. Fox, report status. Dog, report status. Item, report status. Dog, move to Hotel 9. Report status. How? Report status. Easy. Report status. Easy. Here. We are at Oscar six. We're running close to half strength. Fox. Report status. Fox. Report status. Holy cow. Item. Report status. Item. Item, move to Hotel 9. Item here, moving to Great Hotel 9. Charlie, report status. Charlie here, we are at India 4. We've suffered moderate casualties. George, report status. George here, we're at Kosa 4. We're running close to half strength 3. Barrage is remaining. George, fire barrage at Delta 9, location 4. George here, that location is out of range. We'll are you kidding me? George, move to Echo 5. George here, alright, in the grid. George here, Echo 5, it is. Easy, report status. Easy, here, here at Oscar 6. We suffered moderate casualties. We're still in this damned minefield. We should go back the way we came or wait for engineers to come clear this. Easy, move to Quebec 6. Dingo, report status. George here, arrived at Echo 5. Now here, we've lost visual to our Dingo. Labor left in. We spotted Dingo at 5. Three dogs here. Dog, report status. Dog, report status. And where it dog report location. Dog here, here at Echo Nine. Echo Nine. What? How is how are you at the hell are they doing at Echo Nine? George, fire barrage at Delta Nine. Item report status. Item here, you're at Hotel 9. We've taken minor casualties. Item, move to location 4. Easy report status. Easy, just we're at Quebec 6. We're running close to half strength. Easy, move to Quebec 8. Easy, just alright, heading to Grid Quebec. Item, move to location 4. Fox, report status. 
How? Report status. Item, report status. Dog, report status. How, move to Quebec 6. How, move to Quebec 6. Easy, move to location 2. Easy, here's the safe rock, everyone. Heading to 10A Steel Mail. Easy, here's the visual on infantry at 10A Steel Mail. Fox, fire barrage at location 2. Charlie, report status. Charlie, here's the here at India 4. We've suffered moderate casualties. Charlie, dig in. How? Move to Quebec 8. What the hell are they doing there? Yeah, we're not going to hit any. Item, move to location 4. George. God damn it. George, move to Hotel 9. George, fire barrage on location two. George, that location is out of range. That'll have to do for now. Standing for command post. God damn it. George, report status. George, here. We're at Pickle. Hi. We're running close to half strength. Three. Barrage is remaining. George, move to India 8. George, here. India 8. It is. Don't say that's what it is and not do it. Do it. Dog, move to location two. Item, move to location two. Charlie, move to location four. Easy, report status. How, report status. How, report location. How? Move to Quebec 6. How? Move to Quebec 8. How? All right. Heading to Grand Quebec 8. Charlie here. You got the better of us this time. We'll be back, though. Charlie, report status. Ah, uh, what a disaster. Infantry, uh, I didn't see any tanks. Two artilleries at least. Two anti-tank. I think there was a sniper, maybe a scout. See, they were being shot by an unknown person. Made me think there was a sniper over there, but there's not. Oh wow, we didn't hold anything. That's weird. How did we lose all the all the beachhead villages? Or did they not count? Were they not even important? So we lost dog, we lost fox. It's just I tell you what, the difficulty level is just ranked right up now. Hmm. Well done, easy. Definitely deserved that. Should we look at the replay? See where it all went horribly wrong.
So you can see there's, uh, as expected, units at all these places. Some of these places weren't even... They didn't even have units in, look. So if I'd have just pushed in hard, I probably would have been alright. You don't know that, do you? At first. So the artillery did a great job there. Absolutely decimated those. These guys... There must have been a couple of them left. Ten men left. See, this is weird. They're in the sea. Or is this meant to be beach? Because if this is beach, how are the boats there? And if it's the sea, what are they doing? Swimming in it? Where do these guys come from? I'll tell you what. Dingo caused me so much trouble. And this artillery... I can't believe this artillery was still there. I thought I'd wiped it out. George finally got into position. So they... I didn't take those out completely. Oh my gosh. Push the tanks in. Dog got wiped out. Finally forced these guys around the outside of the minefield. And push them out of dog. So we took that location. So we took all of those, but... We did not do well. Yeah. One or two little bugs. Do we do enough to complete the mission? That's the question. The largest amphibious assault in history. Six land divisions supported by three airborne divisions. The Canadian division, part of the British Army, was tasked to form a beachhead at Juneau Beach, pierce inland and take strategic points around the city of, Ka of Khan. The assault began in the morning but had to be delayed due to weather. The Royal Winnipeg Rifles and the Queen's Own Rifles of Canada, Canada took the brunt of the initial push and suffered heavy casualties. However, large numbers of plus the crucial support of artillery and armoured squadrons destroyed most of the defences within the first few hours. The push towards the Cayenne Bayou Railway, a critical line of support for the German front, had some success although suffered delays. The Canadians managed to make contact with Allied British forces with their push. The Queen's Own Rifles of Canada, along with the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division, succeeded in their objective and had pushed further in than any of the Allied forces. Corporal Victor de Blois of Le Regiment de la Chaudière, I apologise, guarding German prisoners on Juno Beach, Bonnier sur de Mer, France 6th, June, June 1944. Prisoners, Allemand gardés par des soldats canadiens sur la plague Juno. Blah, 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 blah. So there's Canadian soldiers uh, basically guarding uh, German prisoners. That's what's going on there. Private C.R. Rizza of the Highland Light Infantry of Canada cleans his rifle during the regiment's visit to Juno Brac, Normandy, France, circa 7th, 8th of July, 1944. Sergeant William Gerard Hussein, Fort Gary Horse, Winnipeg, sitting on a Sherman tank, Bayou, France, 14th, June, 1944. Okay, what have we got here? Wet feet. Number four Canadian Army newsreel. Let's do it. Let's do it. for zero hour on the firing step of a trench. We today stand ready to take to the water. From experience and combined operations, we know how we must launch our attack on the enemy. How we leave the mothership in our landing craft. How we will wait, silent, thinking, thinking of the job ahead and of our ability to do it our ability to handle our weapons. We remember what we were taught in battle drill. 
We remember our orders. Check them over. Visualize as best we can the coast ahead. And we think of what our lads did at Dieppe and how we are proud to carry on. To continue the job, they began. Then there's something to do again. Less time to think. There's the move to the assault positions on the deck, ready to take off. There's a chance to stretch muscles, look over equipment again, size up the situation from a new vantage point, have another look at the boys on the same craft, the faces of comrades, trained, skilled comrades who are going in there with you. Now we're closer. The smoke has been put down ahead, and we've got some cover from view. It won't be long now. No, it won't be long now before it's land. And not such dry land either. Land and water and smoke and the unknown ahead. And things really begin to move then, to move like a drill we all know. A fast, hard-hitting drill, a drill with the Navy and Air Force, with every weapon we've got. A drill these North Nova Scotia Highlanders are doing here. A drill that will put us on the road to victory. Happy landings. Happy landings, really? Okay. Ah, uh, uh, look, not completed. It was a failure. Gonna press on. Welcome to Khan Outskirts, location Poutou Bassin. Bretville sur Dordogne, off the west northwest of Cayenne, Normandy, France. Features agricultural countryside with occasional slope, hill, and crest. The area outside of Caen is mostly used for farming, whereas east of Caen is heavily irrigated with great access to fresh water. The area west of the city is more suited for large fields of produce to produce grain, produce, produce and grain, such as wheat, clover, and turnips. Destroyed Panzer Camp 5 Panther tank in Brettville or Glees. Flamethrowers, horrible things. Uh, part of the gum card series. Able Seaman Douglas F. Treewin W2 Party, Royal Canadian Navy Beach Commando W, points out a German sign warning of mines in the Juno sector of the Normandy beachhead. What is that? Literally, the plate mine. These large mines needed 2,000 pounds of pressure to set them off, making them mostly useful for d destroying vehicles. They were deployed extensively throughout World War II. Awful. Awful. Twilight of Youth. This article has fairly detailed reports of the Canadians fighting the Hitler to end. Objective Carpique. Men plan strategy near some tanks. Tanks roll through a town on the roads to the starting point of the assault. A field communication center. Artillery attacks on the Carpique airfield. Smoke screens, typhoon rockets are fired. Machine gun fire, mortar fire. The infantry moves into the town. A carrier damaged by a direct hit. An enemy fighter plane is shot down. The pilot parachutes out of his plane and is captured by the Canadians. Young German prisoners, empty shell cases are salvaged. Canadian Army Newsreel number 35. Let's go. To Canadian units in France falls the honour of conducting the attack against Coffee Cay. The little Norman town is considered to be one of the strongest points on the car perimeter. It is one of the keys to Ka itself. Careful planning is necessary to ensure perfect liaison with the British unit on the right flank. Their job is to invest ground south of Carpicade. From well-prepared positions, German guns and mortars hit the Canadians with everything they've got. Their object is to smash our lines of communication before we can build up reserves for the attack. Despite their savage bombardment, troops, transport and tanks move steadily forward to the starting point.
five o'clock on a misty morning, zero hour approaches. A typical Montgomery mass of artillery is concentrated on the front. The order comes down from the operations room to open fire. Our guns open up with a devastating barrage, plowing a path of exploding shells over the town and airfield. Behind the barrage, our infantry and armor move. Smoke screens over the battlefield drift along the front, mixing with the haze from exploding shells. In the murk, visibility at times is zero. Augmenting the guns, rocket-firing typhoons dive like black meteors right on German position. They blast with explosives at point-blank range. Heavy machine guns from wooded emplacements spurt out lines of tracing. Mortars throw in bombs at a rapid rate, softening up enemy positions. The combined weight of Canadian striking power goes all out, leaving the enemy dazed by its frightful violence. Advancing over a mile and a half of open ground, infantry, supported by armor, move into the town. An hour after commencing the attack, leading elements report from the outskirts. Shortly after the signal comes through to headquarters, Carpiquet is taken. In the wake of battle is one of our carriers, which received a direct hit from an enemy shell. In the sky, an enemy fighter is brought down. Its pilot is lucky. He bails out and lands safely. He is brought in on his way to concentration camp. Although the town is won and dazed prisoners filter back in streams, the enemy keeps up stiff resistance. A prolonged and bitter engagement takes place across the airfield to the south. Jerry counterattacks with full force, but he can't budge the Canadians. Digging themselves into their positions, they hold their ground tenaciously. All the time, a steady stream of supplies and reinforcements move up. The salvage trucks take back empty shell cases. The terrific concentration of artillery fire uses up plenty of shells, yet all salvageable material is collected for another day. Nothing useful is discarded. General Montgomery says well done after paying a visit to forward positions in Coffee Cave. Another glorious name on the Canadian Battle Roll of Honor. Now, well, there you go. All right, let's, uh, let's do much better. So, any non tank slots. Let's get the tank sorted first, then. And I'll not forget engineers. Engineers are so important. Right, why have these guys got upgrades? Proof sites. Ah, oh, that's it. Okay. That's the tanks. Engineers, where are the engineers? There are the engineers. A couple of upgrades here. Their morale is zero. Doesn't really matter what we do with these guys. They're not going. We've got two lots of engineers. I uh, wouldn't mind one scout unit. Some upgrades available here. Increase their attack range. What have these guys got? Let's increase everybody's attack range, I think. So if you can fire at the enemy before they can fire at you, there's a good chance you're going to win. Oh my gosh, is that it? We've got one... Mi oh no, no, no. That's, uh, that's an engineer unit. Silly, silly, silly sod. Right, 48th, we'll send them in. The Winnipeg Rifles. Uh, and we'd like some artillery. We'll increase their range. We'll stick that in there. I guess we're bringing a. I guess we're bringing a sniper as a reserve. Okay, not the best layout. Definitely made a mistake last time. Get to 
call sign dog. We're at Juliet. Seven. Need something built or blown up? Engineers, got the cover. Royal Winnipeg Rifles Industry, Company here. You can call us easy. We're at FEMA. Seven. It always comes down to the infantry. So, this is the same location we were at before, same map. Um, look at the list of objectives here. So we've basically got to try and hold everything. Now what I'm going to do, because I've just realised that the, uh, the engineers can lay uh, minefields. Obviously that's not an engineer. Who's the engineer then? Oh, I clicked on Baker. Yeah. So Baker are an engineer unit. So I want them. What are able? Baker. So I'm going to have able. Let me get my pencil. Let me get my pencil here. Uh, able are going to. Oh, the thing is, I, I need to clear it of mines, don't I? Right, Baker. Are going to lead the way. And I think I'm going to lay mines there. I want to put the mines up here. Well, we've got four minutes to get there. So, okay. We'll do that. And we want to lay a minefield right there. Or here, somewhere around here. And then we want to basically do the same thing over here. So we're going to have to attack. I mean, we're going to have to push fast. Really fast. So we're going to have to fortify there. We're going to have to fortify there. But then I also want to come out here and put some mines down. Now this is the best case scenario. I don't imagine we'll actually be able to do it. But you never know. You never know. So, uh, Baker. And who's the other... Their rifles. Dog, what are you? Get that stupid thing out of the way. Dog are engineers. So Baker and Dog are my engineers. So they'll be leading the way. And here I want Abel. Here I want easy and here I want Charlie not easy drawing with this you know sometimes it doesn't draw right okay then Get and do it. Baker, move to location four. Abel, move to location four. Abel, move to location four. Dog, move to location two. Easy, move to location two. Charlie, move to location two. Baker, move to location 7. Baker, move to location 7. Abel, move to location 7. Charlie, 
Easy, move to location one. Dog, report location. Dog, move to location one. Baker, report status. Baker, move to Delta. Mm, now I'm going to be more precise with this. Able, report status. Able, dig in. What? Why? Able, report status. Able, dig in. What are you, Able? Oh, they're scouts. Bugger. Baker, lay minefield. Minefield. Dog, report location. Dog, report location. Dog, move to location eight. Easy, report location. Easy, dig in. Charlie, report location. Charlie, report location. Charlie, move to location eight. Dog, report location. Baker, move to location 7. Dog. Easy, report location. Charlie, report location. Dog, report location. Charlie, report location. Charlie, dig in. Here come the tanks. Baker, report location. Baker, dig in. What can Abel do? Dog, report location. Dog, move to location 7. Right, here we go then. So we achieved everything we set out to achieve. Abel, report location. Baker, report location. Dog, report location. Able, move to Golf 11. Actually, I want to get them up. Able, move to Bravo 11. Let's hope Baker can hold. Dog, report location.
Dog, move to Echo 13. Fox, move to Hotel 8. What are Fox? What do you do, Fox? You're an anti-tank. Thought so. Baker, report status. Abel, report status. Dog, report status. Why? You're supposed to be going here. How the hell did you end up over there? Fox, report location. Okay, they're moving very slowly. Charlie, report status. Easy, report status. Baker, report status. Dog, report location. Dog, move to Echo 11. I'm going to try and come round the back and give us some high support here and then this can move this side. Fox, report location. Fox, move to location one. Although there's two tanks over here, that's not good. Dog, report location. Dog, move to Bravo 11. That's not good. Charlie, report status. Still nothing. No tanks coming this way. What's going on? They've all come this way. Cheeky. So, okay. Fox, move to location 7. Aim for the Trebs. Easy, report status. Oh, there are tanks over here. Fox, move to location one. Bit of a stutter there. Dog, report location. Okay, so not quite sure why he's there, but fine. Fox, report location. Fox, location. What's happened to Fox? Fox, by barrage at November 13. Okay, thought as much. Fox, move to location one. Dog, report status. Baker, report status.
Fable, report status. Fable, move to Bravo 12. Easy, report status. Fox, fire barrage at Oscar 12. Fox, report location. Come on. Dog, move to Charlie 12. Fox, report location. Easy, report status. Fox, fire barrage at Oscar 12. Fox report status. Dog, dig in. Dig in. Fox report status. Easy report location. Easy, move to location one. George, move to location one. Easy, report status. Charlie, report status. George, report location. Report location. Come on. Baker, report status. Dog report status. Dog move to Charlie 12. Abel move to location 8. Baker dig in. Baker location. George, location. George, location. George, report status. Come on. Abel, report location. Dog, report status. Baker, report location. The hell are they doing back there? George, move to location 7. Fox, report status. Oh, we are not doing well here. Easy, report status. Deploy reserve. 
snipers. Item. Move to location four. Charlie, report status. Baker, move to location seven. No, you pillock. There. Dog, report status. Baker, report status. Abel, report status. Charlie, report status. Fox, report status. Fox, by barrage at location one. Easy, report status. George, report status. George, move to location one. Easy, move to location one. Fox, fire barrage on location one. Baker, report status. Baker, dig in. Dog, report status. Dog, dig in. Dig in. Baker, dig in. Charlie, report status. Charlie, move to location eight. Charlie, move to location eight. Abel, move to location eight. Come on. Item, report location. Item, location. Item, move to location four. Item here, we'll all get on. Baker, report status. Item here, we're at India. Two, we're headed to get on. My God. Some communication issues there. A few problems here, there, and everywhere. Right, infantry, how many do they have? At least one, two, three, I think. Tanks, probably three again. Artillery didn't see any anti tanks, don't know. Actually, we did see an anti tank over here. Sniper scouts and engineers, don't really know. Not miles off, but not accurate either. How many did we get? <sighs> nearly did well, nearly did well. Damage dealt 201, 142, 168, 148.
<laughs> I can't see who it was now. It was Baker or Charlie. It was Baker. I think I'd have given it to Baker either way. All right, let's watch the replay then, see <clears throat> where it all went bloody wrong. We weren't too bad there. I felt like we nearly had that in the bag. Go on then. Ten times speed. What happened? So there were no enemies on the map. We pushed up pretty quickly. First part of the mission went well. I wasn't expecting tanks to come through the middle here, I'll be honest. So Dog were an anti-tank unit. So why did they have a, an icon that was... Yeah, they're anti-tank. Dog were anti-tank. That's not right. Dog were meant to be the engineers. Oh god, Charlie were the engineers. Oh man. But I laid a minefield with dog, did not did I not? Did I not? I don't know. Do you know what I think I did there? I think I tried to move but I thought dog were the engineers. I'm so confused now. So confused now. So I think I screwed up this side of the map. This went pretty well. This was a disaster. So we had all this time to prepare our defences. And uh, I had dog. I could have just put dog there. If I'd have put dog there. Let's get my green pen out. If I'd have put dog there. I do wish these pens were thicker so I could see it properly. And dog could have covered that whole area. In fact, if I'd have put Dog there, he'd have had even greater range and visibility. That's what I should have done. Still learning, you see. Every mission I fail, I learn something. But definitely, that was a mission where you plan ahead and try and follow your plan. And it nearly bloody worked. It nearly bloody worked. I'm not seeing much happening on the map here, which is weird. Like three minutes left. Was this three minutes into the mission? God, can you go any faster? Ten times speed is the only thing. Okay. I'm sure it'll all kick off in a minute. Certainly the voice recognition aspect of this game needs a little bit of tweaking, I think. It's not quite 100%. Come on now. There's no way of cancelling this either. I said this before. When you start a replay, I think you're stuck in it till the end. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I was playing multiplayer with Jimmy Daly and he discovered that if you right click on the enemy, you can get uh, an enemy status report. Which I meant to, I should have used in that mission. I forgot all about it till literally just that second. Um, so that's interesting. That's something that could be useful to keep track of the enemy. I've got to say, this is a lot easier to play right-clicking just using the this because you never get the wrong sort of thing. Able were an anti-tank regiment. No, they weren't. They were scouts. I think that I think that's a bug. Able were definitely scouts, right? Because I asked them to dig in and they said they couldn't. 
I think there's one or two bugs still in the game. I'm sure they'll get them fixed. I think what the problem is, is they haven't had any feedback from testing yet. Or not much. So hopefully, uh, you know, you never know, they might watch one of my videos. Heaven forbid. There is nothing happening in this replay. Can I escape? I don't want to watch this replay anymore. That's up to 30 minutes. Nothing has happened on the map at all. See, now it's gone past 30 minutes. I'm a little bit concerned. What, what happens if I click on this? Quit level. Let's try that. Okay, I think we got out of it. We did it. But now we've got this like hazy uh, fast forward thing still going on. So we completed one and three. We failed two. I got three left. So I'm going to wrap up this video here and put another one in in a couple of days time. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I'm trying to think now my schedule. This will be coming out after the game is released. So if you've bought the game, please let me know in the comments what you think, what you feel about the game. Hopefully it's um, all these bugs and issues that I'm running into have been ironed out or I have figured out where I'm going wrong, if that's what the case is. I don't know yet. It's difficult to tell when you play games that have yet to be released. Um, yeah, I really like this game. I hope you do too. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying playing the game if you've bought it. And until next time, take care. Goodbye for now.